All right, y'all. Average is failure. I'm not doing this because I'm trying to win an award. I'm not trying to do be a dope speaker or what have you. But I just know that God has blessed me with a lot of information about a lot of different things that will affect your life. Um, and I want to pour it out to you. He's positioned me right now to be uh, able to do a lot of work with individuals who uh, really haven't had a, a, a strong family structure, uh, individuals who have had done long stints in being incarcerated or what have you and are trying to uh, jump back into the job market um, and I'm helping to train those individuals to get back into the job market. He's positioned me to, to, to deal with people who really have not had the skills to go into the workforce. Um, you know, people who have did, uh, struggled this, with substance abuse, uh, people who have just had a lot of what we call like societal strikes against them, um, you know, in the D.C. area. And he's positioned me to do some work with uh, a, a number of them and helping them to get acclimated back into society in such a way where they can really provide for themselves and provide for their family and not just really just settle for being alive, but really taking their lives to the next level, hopefully, you know, as long as they stay on the right track. But it's, it's difficult, you know, when I'm working with them, it's, th this is, a, for a lot of them, not all of them, but for some of them, this is new territory. Um, you know, and so I've been in a position to encourage them, but what I realize is that the information that I'm sharing with them is also beneficial to a lot of my friends who are around me. So, um, you know, as I think about my friends and people who have poured into me and who have allowed me to pour into them over the years, you know, I just want to do something for y'all. So that's really why I'm doing this. Um, and if I'm sending this to you, it's, it's because um, I just want to encourage you. I, I think it will benefit you. So um, um, I'm going to just start with talking about getting into, first of all, like dealing with our careers in general, right? Um, a lot of us are wondering like, yo, what's next? What's the next step? Or for some people, you're trying to figure out like what's the first step? And, you know, one of the things that I found as I really started studying, like, you know, how do you enter into a career? Like a lot of us start with a lot of us start out thinking about, yo, know, what's going to pay the bills? And that's that's certainly something to think about. But before we even get to that, we have to really deal with step number one. And step number one is really uh, beginning with yourself. And like you're trying to figure out what industry you should get into and what skills you should develop and you haven't even really figured out who you are as yet and not until you figure out who you are will you really figure out what you should be doing and what you will thrive at I'm lucky now to be in a position to where the kind of the kind of um, you know the the kind of work that I, I'm doing really falls in line with who I am right and I'm not talking about th this applies to you whether you're in the whether you're an entrepreneur or whether you're a person who is in your traditional form of employment. But um, whether, it doesn't matter which sphere you're in. You have to understand who you are first and foremost, what gifts you have if you're going to take it to the next level. Uh, if, if you're going to get into the career that's going to really give you sustainability, like if you go into a career that you haven't really self-assessed and figured out who you are as yet, then you're going to experience burnout, right? I've experienced burnout before. A lot of people I know experience burnout. And what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to experience burnout. So I want you to really figure out who you are and then figure out based on who you are, what's the type of work that you should be doing. So, so if we were to take inventory of ourselves, what, what, what picture would we get of ourselves? I'm going to say that again. If, if we took inventory of ourselves, what picture would we get of ourselves? So, so if I took an inventory of myself, I know that I'm a person who I, I like to talk. But I don't like to just do any type of talking. I like to talk... And explain things. I like to break things down. I like to show people how something is working, why it works that way. You know, what's what's kind of the the 
I like to figure out how do I tell somebody in a streamlined way and explain to them in a, in a way that streamlines so that they can get the full picture and understand the process of how to get from point A to point B or how we've gotten from point A to point B. So I like things such as politics, like, like I, I'm interested in, in, in politics and, and, and why government, why, what are the policies that shape certain things. I'm interested in how do people um, f figure out how to become successful. How do people uh, go from uh, not being where they want to be to all of a sudden going to where they want to be? I'm interested in, in seeing, okay, what are the things that rile people up? What are the things that affect our ability to live? I'm interested in seeing, like, what is it that causes conflict and how do we de-escalate conflict? How do we bridge the gap between people, right? Um, so all of these things kind of led to, it, it makes sense that I'm doing the kind of work that I do now whether you talk about uh, professional development, uh, whether you talk about personal development, whether you talk about the work that I'm doing as a pastor, because I am in the business of building people up. Everything that I do is, is, is geared toward building people up, making their lives better. Um, you know, and not, there's some people that do that from, let's say, a technological aspect. I don't do it from a technological aspect. So some people make people's lives better simply because they they are engineers and maybe they design something that will help. Let's say somebody who uh, may not, maybe they were born with uh, with a different kind of ability. You know, maybe they they are not able. Their body doesn't allow them to do some of the things that we traditionally are able to do. Um, and so they they are able to engineer something that gives them help. That's not my thing. I'm, I, even though I, I'm interested, I like hearing about technology, but I'm not interested in trying to figure out how do I put the technology together myself. But what I am interested in is having the discussion as far as, well, what policies need to be in place to help these types of people? I'm also interested in, um, you know, what, what, how do we help this person, even if there were to be no policies that come out there on their behalf, how do, we, how do I help this person to figure out what they can do even on their own to get to where it is that they would like to be, which is why I'm doing these videos, right? I simply said, let me just put my gift, um, the you know, my God-given gift into, uh, you, you know, just put it out there in hopes that one of you will latch on and that this will be beneficial to someone. So um, I'm going to leave it right there for now. I want you all to just start with uh, self-assessment. This is Vaughn Average's Failure Matter of Fact. What I'm going to do on the next video, we're really going to talk about um, the direction that Average's failure is going to take. Uh, I really think that God has been giving me some insight as far as what it should mean for um, the people who de decide to join up with this movement. So um, that's it for now. Peace out. Average's Failure. This has been your boy Vaughn. Holla at me.